Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we will talk about the blood, nerve and lymphatic supply of the breast. Let's begin with the blood supply. We all know that any organ has two types of blood supplies, the arteries and the veins. So let's talk about the breast arterial supply first and then we'll talk about the venous supply. So the arterial supply of the breast is derived from, I am going to give you guys an abbreviation to make it simple for you to remember, a slip. One, the acromiothoracic, the superior thoracic, the lateral thoracic. All of these are branches of the axillary artery. Then we have the internal thoracic being a branch of the subclavian artery. As I mentioned earlier, the internal thoracic gives off its perforating branches that supply the breast. And finally, we have the posterior intercostal artery. This again gives its lateral branches that give arterial supply to the breast. These two are similar to the chest wall cutaneous vessel supply. Moving on, let's talk about the venous supply. We have the superficial veins and we have the deep veins. The superficial veins will drain into the internal thoracic vein. Just like the artery, there is an internal thoracic vein plus the veins of the lower part of the neck. The deep veins drain into the posterior intercostal, just like the artery, the posterior intercostal veins and the axillary vein. Let's talk about the lymphatics of the breast and before that you need to know what a lymphatic system is. A lymphatic system is the system of body that gives you immunity. It consists of two basic things, the lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are basically concentrations of multiple WBCs and these are basically rounded structures located almost all areas of your body. And then we have the vessels that carry lymphatic fluid from the lymph nodes to the lymph nodes and all over the body. So first we'll talk about the lymph nodes of the breast. To begin with, this is the clavicle, this is the sternum, this is the axilla or the armpit of your body. So the breast drains into basically certain groups of lymph nodes. So we have the most important, the axillary lymph nodes. We have the supraclavicular lymph nodes. We have the internal mammary lymph nodes that are also known as parasternal lymph nodes, posterior intercostal lymph nodes. And then we have the subdiaphragmatic and subperitoneal. So this is an outline of the major lymph nodes of the breast. So now let's go into the depth of these lymph nodes. There are three major groups that the breast drains into. These are the number one, axillary lymph nodes. 75% of the drainage of the breast is carried out into the axillary lymph nodes. 20% is in the internal mammary nodes or the parasternal nodes and the rest of the amount is drained into the posterior intercostal lymph nodes drain about five percent other lymph nodes that also drain the breast are the supraclavicular and the subdiaphragmatic subperitoneal now let's talk about the axillary lymph nodes now axilla is the area of your body which is basically the armpit of your body. This is the humerus, the bone of the arm, and this is the clavicle. So axilla is basically this region, which is basically the armpit. This is the anterior axillary fold, so this is the posterior. Basically, the axillary lymph nodes consist of five groups, which are super important. Why? Because 75% of breast is drained by the axillary lymph nodes, and the most important of these axillary lymph nodes is our first group called the anterior group of lymph nodes which lies near the anterior axillary fold and then we have the posterior group of axillary lymph nodes then we have the lateral group which lie at the medial part of the humerus in the upper part of the arm and then high up in the axilla axillary fat we have the central group of lymph nodes and after the central we have even higher just located below the clavicle the, the apical lymph nodes. We will talk more in depth about the axilla in the axillary lecture. For now, this is 
a brief overview of where the lymph nodes are located. So the most important of these are the anterior group of nodes because most of the lymph is drained by axillary and even in the axillary, the most important are the anterior group of nodes. So the cycle of how the lymph is drained in the axillary lymph nodes goes a little like this. Most of the lymphatic fluid drains into the anterior. Some of it also goes in the posterior group and some also directly goes to the central group of nodes. From the anterior group of nodes, this lymph drains into the central nodes and from the posterior, they drain into the lateral nodes and eventually reaches the central lymph nodes. Finally, when everything has reached, some has reached directly. Other routes are the indirect routes of lymph reaching the central lymph nodes. And finally, the central lymph nodes, they drain the lymph into the apical group of nodes. An apical group of nodes give lymph to the supraclavicular, which we talked about previously. So this is the circulation of the lymphatic fluid. We talked about the axillary lymph nodes in depth. Now let's talk about the other groups of nodes, the internal mammary, posterior intercostal, and mostly the lower inner part of the breast drains into the subdiaphragmatic and the subperitoneal lymph nodes. This is a very important point as this is the root of spread of cancer, which we will talk further in the video. Now let's talk about the lymphatics or the lymphatic vessels. It's divided into two, the superficial lymphatics and the deep lymphatic vessels. The superficial lymphatics basically drain the skin of the breast, while the deep lymphatics drain the nipple, areola and the parenchyma of the breast. Beneath the areola of the breast, this is suppose the breast, this is the circular pigmented area at the base of nipple called the areola. Beneath the areola lies a plexus of lymphatic vessels Plexus meaning bundle, so a bundle of lymphatic vessels called the subareolar plexus of sapi. The lymphatics of this plexus also drain into the most important group of the axillary lymph nodes called the anterior group.